De 43e Caricom Staatshoofdenvergadering is gisteren afgesloten met een persconferentie. Chandrika Persat Santoki, de nieuwe voorzitter van de Caricom, bleek terug op een vruchtbare en succesvolle meeting. Santoki zegt dit op basis van de overweldigende participatie en de besluiten die genomen zijn tijdens de meeting. De CARICOM-lidlanden zijn het met elkaar eens dat er een intensievere aanpak nodig is om de uitdagingen waarmee de regio kampt aan te pakken. Earlier I stated that we must form a coalition of willingness. This is needed in order to be enabled to achieve set goals and continuity raise the bar on effectiveness of this beautiful organization. As you have back to your specific islands and countries, I urge you to keep in consideration that this is not a time to do business as usual. We have to pave the way for future generation. We have to lay firm foundations, this in order to build back better. The heads of government had a most successful and transformative meeting here in Suriname. Decisions were taken which would improve the way we conduct our affairs and ultimately the implementation of decisions to advance the integration process and enhance the lives of the people of the community. De CARICOM-voorzitter zegt dat er besluiten zijn genomen die de samenwerking tussen de lidlanden zal verbeteren. Volgens secretaris-generaal Carla Burnett zijn er twee belangrijke besluiten genomen. Eén um, was in relation to the definitions of um, categories of labor. Um, the reality was that there were just very few issues that needed to be clarified. Those issues were clarified. There is general agreement on the definitions of, of the categories of labor. Those definitions are in keeping with ILO standard definitions. What needs to be done now, because when we make decisions at the level of CARICOM, the, at the national level, the laws may need to be amended. For most of the countries, there really isn't any need to amend the laws. It is really just one or two that need to do that. And we will begin that process of working with the countries to make sure that those definitions that we agree are, in fact, incorporated in the local laws. The second um, set of decisions was in relation to the removal of non-tariff barriers. And the, the non-tariff barriers that need to be removed are in relation to the um, protection of uh, a movement um, of biological of animal products or, so they are related to agricultural regulation they are not tariff barriers they are Gedurende de conferentie hebben vertegenwoordigers van landen, internationale en regionale organisaties van de gelegenheid gebruik gemaakt om bilaterale gesprekken te voeren.